Hi guys, maybe over 30 people made Comic Con vlogs this year. I decided to make my own. I want to quickly talk about three trailers. After reviewing the Doctor Strange teaser trailer, I naturally planned on reviewing the second one. After seeing the second trailer, my desire vanished. I thought about quickly talking about it in my Star Trek Beyond review, then I decided, why not make a vlog? Doctor Strange trailer 2 was fine, it's underwhelming. It's generic or semi-generic. It's not boring, it's shallow. I originally thought it was good. I gave it a little more thought, so yeah, you could call me an idiot. It's visually stunning, it's Inception-esque. You see cities sinking or shifting into each other, it's kinda hard to explain. I'm sure some people called it an Inception ripoff. The comic was created in the 60s, so Doctor Strange has been around for a long time. I read somewhere on Facebook Christopher Nolan was inspired by Doctor Strange. Ancient One tells Strange the mystic arts involves shifting reality and moving from one place to another. This trailer is an average case of memory distortion, if that makes any sense. I thought she said there are three mystic arts, and I thought she used the term teleporting. Moving from one place to another uh, involves creating a portal, stepping into it, and appearing somewhere else. We see them in the city, and they appear on the snowy mountains, maybe the Himalayans. Matt Mikkelsen looks good. He looks different. Did he get burnt? We're all wondering if he's generic or different. Apparently he's different because we hear him say, We'll die to protect this reality. Maybe he's misunderstood. Maybe he's sympathetic. Maybe he wants to kill lots of people because he feels humanity sucks, you know, corrupt. He's an asshole. The Lego Batman movie looks great. It looks hilarious and clever. People fell in love with the Lego movie. Not only is it a huge hit, it's critically acclaimed. I haven't seen the Lego movie yet. I'll see it eventually. It's on the Canadian Netflix. I guess it's on the American Netflix as well. Alfred is Batman's guardian or surrogate father. In this movie, he treats Batman like a teenager. He locks out Batman's computer. He wants Batman to retire. He feels he should have a normal life, uh, act like a father to his son, Robin. Michael Sarah plays Robin. I don't like him, however, he reminds me of myself. I like Jesse Eisenberg. He was a great Lex Luthor. Yeah, he would have been more appropriate for Riddler. Robin is really happy, really hyperactive. He's more hyperactive than Burt Ward's Robin. Batman is my favorite superhero. However, I don't care for the 60s Batman TV show. If you like it, that's great. However, I like Batman Brave and the Bold. We quickly learn why Robin doesn't wear pants. If you think about it, it's weird. He feels no shame in fighting in green tights. If he wore boxers, uh, it still would have been weird, but less. Zach Galifianakis plays Joker. We hear his silly laugh and we hear him say a random line. Something like, I'll get you, my pretty. Zach's a funny guy, I guess he'll make a good Joker. I guess he'll be funny, unlike Cesar Romero's Joker. I guess we, we won't see him electrocute anybody. Con Skull Island looks good. I wasn't expecting much. I guess everyone was surprised. The word con wasn't always in the title. Adding the word was pointless, but whatever. It's not a prequel, it's a reboot. It's in the same universe as the Godzilla reboot. This movie sure looks intense. We see guns, helicopters, and fire. This movie takes place in the 70s for whatever reason. I think the reason is the 70s is the last believable decade for the island to be hidden. It wouldn't be hidden nowadays due to satellites. Maybe the director likes this 70s King Kong movie. I didn't like it. I've seen it twice. My first view in was the last 30 minutes or so when I was 13. My second view in was earlier this year. I wanted to know for sure if it sucks or not. The trailer easily could have given us several shots of Khan, but that's not the case. We don't see him until the end. He was teased. I guess his screen time in the movie will be limited, like Godzilla's screen time in his reboot. Some people naturally were disappointed with this movie, but I liked it. It was better than the 90s Godzilla movie. Well, I haven't seen it since I was a kid, so I don't know for sure if it's bad. This movie has a famous cast, Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, Sam Jackson, and John Goodman. Brie Larson is Captain Marvel. I seen her in room, she was good. When I think of John Goodman, I think of the Big Lebowski. Your partner. Because the whole world got crazy! Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the rules? Mark at zero! They're calling the cops, man. Put the piece away. Mark at zero! Walter, put the piece away. Walter? You think I'm fucking around here? Mark at zero! As always, thanks for watching, guys. I will review Star Trek Beyond very soon, maybe tomorrow. You can check out my latest trailer reactions if you haven't already. I assume my Justice League reaction will gain more hits, but oh well. I'll talk to you later.